بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته رياض رزازي وكمن يتو another episode of Rock Ramadan 2018 day 8 and we're still talking about the previews from the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad عليه السلام and today we'll talk about um, as we talked last week about his marriage with uh, Khadij رضي الله عنها وارضاها today we'll talk about the wahi the prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad um, But before he became a prophet, before he received the revelation, uh, certain things used to happen, you know, like an intro to his, uh, to, the, to the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad um, One thing used to happen was that uh, six months before he became a prophet, whatever vision, whatever dream he used to see, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it used to happen as he used to see it sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he would see a vision right at night and then in the morning it will happen exactly as he saw it sallallahu alaihi wasallam another thing used to happen was that he used to hear uh, stones and, and rocks and trees saying or he used to hear them saying salam to him so he would just be walking and then he would hear assalamu alaikum ya rasulullah turn and then he wouldn't find nobody you know so in fact it was the trees and the rocks saying or sending that salam to the prophet muhammad also another thing was that he used to like uh, solitude you know he used to like um, um, taking himself out or singling himself out and 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 going contemplating and meditating you know since he uh, he and he used to go in the outskirts of Mecca until he found this place you know called Ghar Hira the cave of Hira in this mount uh, and then there um, and this Jabal you know we call it Jabal and Nur and then he found this place where he used to go and contemplate and meditate and in fact in this month of Ramadan we also should revive this beautiful sunnah of the prophet muhammad or ibadah this uh, this worship of contemplation you know meditation uh, contemplating about the greatness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in fact you know just to walk up that mount it takes about an hour or, an, or, or sometimes even more than an hour to go all the way up to that mount and then he used to do that sallallahu alayhi wasallam and then today it is that day when um, he is there in this mouth or in this cave and only one person used to know his whereabouts Khadija because Khadija used to bring him food radiallahu anha wa and, and, and Fatima she was still a kid and then she used to go with her mom and she, they used to spend time with the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and then here he is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this cave and all of a sudden came this person this man you know which he has never seen before with this uh, um, with this amazing, amazing, you know, revelation when he told him, read, iqra. This is where the time where the Quran was revealed. This is the day where the Quran was revealed. This is the day where history will change. The day where Prophet Muhammad would receive the revelation. The Quran was revealed in this month of Ramadan. In fact, precisely in the Laylatul Qadr in the night of the power the night of the decree al-quran was revealed and we are in the month of the quran and my brothers and sisters just so you know subhanallah whenever the quran or whenever the quran is uh, uh, um, connect with someone or something that particular thing becomes great subhanallah for instance when the quran the quran was uh, you know uh, was revealed uh, through uh, Allah Azza wa Jal, but via who? Via uh, uh, Jibreel alayhi salam. And Jibreel became the master of all the angels. And the Quran was revealed upon Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam. And Prophet Muhammad became the seal of all messengers, the, the most beloved uh, Khayr al Anbiya, the best of all prophets, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And this Quran was revealed upon this nation, the nation of Prophet Muhammad. Then this nation became Khayr Ummah, the best Ummah. The Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan, and the month of Ramadan is Sayyid al Shahur, the master of all months. And the Quran was revealed in Laylatul Qadr, and Laylatul Qadr is also deemed to be 
the best day in the whole يعني, year in the month of Ramadan and the best day in the whole month of Ramadan and also the best day in the whole year subhanallah and this Quran if it was to reside in your heart subhanallah uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet Muhammad says خيركم من, خل- من علم القرآن من تعلم القرآن وعلمه the best amongst you are those who learn the Quran and teach it. So if this Quran was to reside in your heart, you would certainly become the best, the best man, subhanAllah, uh, the best person, the greatest person. And if you were to live with the Quran for a day, if your day was to be in connection with the Quran, wallahi, that day that you will have will be the best day in your life. Why? Because it's a day in companionship with the Quran. And in the month of the Quran, my brothers and sisters, until another episode, insha'Allah, of Ramadan 2018. First of all, I'd like to tell you, please share this good with others. And if you like the video, of course you should like it because we're talking about Prophet Muhammad. Like it and then share, insha'Allah, with others so that they can also benefit. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.